Jesus is here with us and that we want Jesus to stay with us are opposite things almost. We take for granted the spiritual presence of God in our lives. We often say, yes, God is everywhere. God is with us. We can count on that. That's a great thing. Paul lists 
five actions that the Lord takes to save us. It's not everything that God does, but it's a kind of an orderly list of some of the things that God does for us through Jesus Christ. Now, the first thing to do as we talk together about this this morning is to, to talk about the elephant in the room. And that's the word predestination. Just a few weeks ago, somebody said to me, you don't believe in predestination, do you? When you look over on the right-hand side and see what the main, uh, the most visited articles for that day are, almost always the horoscopes are in the top five most read articles. And so I'm praying for the offerings. Dear Lord, thank you for um, your willingness to, to change our hearts and our minds. Um, God, thank you that you have predestined um, our rescue. Um, God, this morning I pray that um, we are willing and, and uh, willing to, to sacrifice. Um, okay, so I have a question for the kids, but also for those in the church who might be older kids. So I want to know, is anyone afraid of the dark or maybe you like to sleep with a light on, a nightlight? I see some hands coming up. Me too sometimes. Yeah. So we're pretty lucky that we have a lot of different sources of light. We can use lamps or lamps or candles or flashlights. And one time of year when we use a lot of lights is Christmas. Mm -hmm. 